the audience ever cried watching a movie? Or laughed so hard that they almost fell off the chair? Please raise your hands if you did. All of you. Um, I, wanna, I, want you to, I want to ask you to remember a specific film that really made you feel something. Do you have one? Try to remember it until the end of my talk. I'm going to go back to it. Movies can make us feel, move, and give a new view on the world. Are they just for entertainment, or can we use them as a learning tool as well? In my talk, I'm going to show you how film education can help start conversations and explore how history is written within the classroom. My name is Jessie Tayutu, and I'm going to take you on the educational journey around the East, or how we call it in Dutch, the Oost, and how my team and I reached the Dutch classrooms through a blockbuster fictive movie. A few years ago, I took a 180-degree turn. I quit my job as a high school film teacher. Yeah, that's really a subject. And I moved to Indonesia to shoot the East a movie set in 1946 that tells the story of Johan, a young Dutch soldier that leaves the Netherlands to fight in the independence war, the Indonesian independence war, a war we almost know nothing about. It was a family project. My brother on the screen here directed it, and my dad was sitting there, composed the music. Not just family working together, but also a deep dive in our own history. We are from Moluccan descent, and our grandfather had to leave the Dutch Indies in 1951 after the war, after his land was colonized for hundreds of years. So this was so difficult to discuss at our and many, uh, many kitchen tables. So I was very astonished when, when I was a young girl, I was in history class, and I knew we would reach the paragraph about the Dutch Indies. And then my teacher, he summarized it in one sentence. How could you and why would you summarize hundreds of years of colonization in one sentence? I mean, I was born because of this part of history. So I left my own safe classroom and went to the Japanese jungle for a year of nights shoots under the most beautiful palm trees um, and one very painful scorpion bite. But I didn't leave my passion for education at home. Working on this movie gave me the opportunity to go back into the world of my grandfather in the 40s. I only had a few unsharp pictures of him that turned yellow over time. And now I got to see the way he lived in full color. One of the days, we were building a marketplace, and a group of boys were eating a dish of rice at one of the stands. They were actors, and they were having fun. And for the first time in my life, I could imagine the youth of my grandfather as something more than just a war. He was also a boy growing up. Working on set gave me the opportunity to talk about it with a lot of people from different backgrounds. Part of the crew was Indonesian and the rest was Dutch. Learning about an old time in a new way and talking about it became my goal for the classroom. I wanted to help teachers teach an unknown history in a way and talk about colonization in a way students could empathize with what happened and is still happening today. So we created a few work forms in foreign class, and we focus mainly on dialogue, empathy, and multi-perspectivity. In a movie, you can only tell a story in two hours, mainly focusing on your main character. In the East, it's Johan. To tell more narratives and more stories, we um, developed a storytelling website together with storytelling studio Hyper Epic. And on there, people that saw the film or our students can explore more narratives from different characters. So I would like to bring you back to high school and discuss one of the work forms to show you how film education can work and help us. 
First things first, I'm going to show you the teaser of the film, in case you haven't seen it, so you have a feeling what the movie is about. I do want to warn you, it is a war genre, and some of the images can be quite intense and triggering. Onze vader die in de hemel zit. Uw naam wordt geheiligd. Uw rijk komen. U wil geschieden op aarde zoals in de hemel. Geef ons heden ons dagelijks brood. En vergeef ons onze schulden. Zoals ook wij vergeven onze schuldenaren. En breng ons niet in beproeving. Maar verlos ons van het kwaad. Amen. So I would like to discuss the work from film post and multi-perspectivity with you. After students, high school students, saw the film, they are divided in little groups, and they get the assignment to discuss the narrative. Through talking, they probably find out it's about Johan and his role within the war. When they know what the movie is about, we ask them to change the narrative, to take a different perspective. Those they can explore on the website. On the website, we have five characters they know from the movie, and with them, you deep dive into a world of non-fictive stories told by professionals, archive material, cast, and crew. A lot of us had a background in the Dutch Indies, just like me, I have a Moluccan descent, and we all tell our histories and reflect on it. So imagine, they pick the character Samo, we see him over here, Samuel is a Dutch Indian soldier, and he is also from a look in descent. He is played by the actor Yunus Panaya. Yunus came in to audition, and when he did, we could feel all of his family history within his play. It left us with goosebumps and the face of the character Samuel. So on the website, you can scroll down his life, and to different ages than we know from the film. In one of the scenes, Samuel explains to Johan why he fights alongside the Dutch instead of the Indonesians. This is a very short but important scene. It explains a big deal of our current multicultural society and why we in the Netherlands have a big Moluccan population. But in the movie, we follow Johan, so it doesn't specify it. So on the website, students, but also people that watch the film, can learn more about the side of Yunus history, or mine history, or Samuel's history. I want to show you a little clip of uh, Yunus, and he's telling and reflecting on the experiences of his grandparents and parents. I want to show you this clip so you can see how the website interacts with film. Mijn vader vertelde vaak dat hij thuis kwam en dat hij daar een, een huilende vader en moeder aantrof. Um, pap, wat is er aan de hand? Papa sprak niet. Uh, want die zat vol met al die dingen waar we nu een, een naam voor hebben: PTSS, et cetera, et cetera. Um, oma die sprak ook niet uit. Die wilde meer het gezin bij elkaar houden. Maar wat doet dat met een kind? Als je thuis komt en je ziet continu je ouders in verdriet of ongelukkig, dat doet wat uh, met je. So, from the narrative we flow into the cinematic elements. Kids these days spend their time on Netflix, YouTube, TikTok. They work with the language of film every day. So it's important that they learn how to read and understand it. So what if the story was told by Samuel? How would the makers change the way the film looks, the music, the colors? By analyzing this actively on a young age, you get to understand that everything you see is chosen, whether it is in your favorite movie or in the news or anything on YouTube. At the end, 
The kids co-created film poster for the new main character, and all of the groups had a different character, so they exchanged the storylines and learned more about this part of history. In the journey towards making this educational material, we got a lot of criticism, especially in the press. People were afraid that kids these days, and people in general, couldn't see the difference between fiction and non-fiction, between a documentary and a film. But for me and my team, that made it even more important to make educational material, so we help kids learn what the difference is. The dramatization we know from movie can help you empathize with a character. In the East, we learn more about the struggle of soldiers through the eyes of Johan. I want to encourage teachers to analyze film, but also archive material. Because who is telling the story? And who isn't? In film language, we talk about the frame of a shot. But what is the frame of the narrative? Who is behind the camera? Who isn't? What's left out of the shot? And who's writing history? In a perfect world, I hope this material helps teachers to teach unknown histories and learn more about film education. I would also like to see the education field and film industry grow towards the, together. We make a lot of very beautiful films, and I really think they can help us discuss difficult social sub subjects in class. So, I want to ask you to close your eyes and envision that, that movie. That movie that you remembered in the beginning. Do you see it? Now, let's change the narrative. From what perspective would you like to see it now? I'm going to ask you to open your eyes again. The movies we watch enlarge our view on the world, so let them help us start learning. Thank you very much.